Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at Philip Foden, the wonder kid from City. He's finally broke into the first team of City. He's playing for England in the Euros. He's certainly going to play at the World Cup. He's certainly going to have a big part next year in the Premier League for City too. So we're going to see how football manager thinks Phil Foden is going to develop. We're going to see how much his attributes improve. See what they think he's going to win. See how far he's going to go. Let's see if he's going to stay at City for his whole career. And also for the football manager enthusiasts, I will show you how much he grows in this 10 years to see the sort of thing you can expect if you sign him or if you grow him in a City save. So this is how Phil Foden starts in 2020 at 20 years old. He's got really good stats already. You can see he got 15 dribbling. 14 finishing, which is really good for a 20-year-old midfielder. Foden also has really good passing at 16, 17 technique, 16 vision, 15 off the ball, 16 flair. And he's got some good pace, 15 pace, 15 acceleration. So he is pretty quick and nimble. 17 agility as well. Fantastic, really good. Likes to get into opposition's area, likes ball played into feet and but runs with ball often. So this is him really young, just starting out at City, just starting to get to the first team. So we're going to see how he is in 10 years' time. This is going to be exciting. So we've fast-forwarded 10 years to when Foden's 31. He's worth £64 million now. I think he was on 30000 on his contract. He's now on 325. So he's done a lot more money, probably justified, I'd imagine. And he's an elite attacking midfielder now, whereas he's a wonder kid before. He's actually got a lot more player traits now as well. Gets forward whenever possible. That's been added. Play one twos. Dictates tempo. So he's now a tempo dictator. Looks for pass rather than attempts to score. So that's been added to his game too. Cuts inside from right wing. That's also been added. He's developed more traits. He's elite now. He's experienced. He's on loads of money. Stat-wise, I'm going to run through and tell you how he has improved. He's gone from 13 to 14 crossing. His dribbling's gone from 15 to 17 now. So that's gone up a lot. His finishing stayed the same. His first touch has gone up 1 to 18. Free kick has gone up two, heading has gone up one, long shot's the same, marking's gone up one, passing has gone up one to 17 from 16, tackling's gone up one, technique has gone up one, all his mental stats have gone up, he's now got 15 anticipation instead of 13, composure 16 instead of 13, concentration 15 instead of 14, Decision making has gone up a lot. This is very good for him. Obviously he's someone with the ball. He likes to pass. Be creative. And also make the right decisions. Shooting and putting people in. So instead of 14 it's now 17. Which has gone up 3. Which is a big jump. Flair has gone up 1 to 17. Off the ball has gone up 2 to 17. Vision has gone up. 2 to 18 agility has gone up 18 and his balance has gone up to 17 from 15 so big jump there probably more physical now natural fitness has gone up to 16 from 14 his pace is the same and his strength has gone up too so overall he's developed really well but he was really highly rated anyway so you can see if you do have Foden his stats will go up and he is a very very good player so we can actually see he stayed at City his whole career, 425 appearances with 97 goals. Nearly coming up to 100, he will reach that before he retires, I imagine. We can see his career stats here. We can see he consistently gets 30-odd games per season. And his goals and assists have gone up. He's gone from 4 goals and 2, 4 and 10 assists, a big jump there, 5 and 8... 8 goals and 2 assists, 10 goals and 8 assists, 8 goals and 15 assists, really good season there in 2025, 6 goals, 10 assists, 11 goals, 7, 
10 and 6. And his last few years, he's got 12 and 17 assists. That's a lot. You're talking 30 goal contributions here. And again, 13 goals, 14 assists. Again, nearly 30. So he's averaging about 15 to 20 most of his career goal contributions with goals and assists. And in his last few years, he's getting nearly 30, which is unbelievable. He's obviously kept his team in a Man City team that's stacked. And I presume he has so much money to keep buying players, but he's maintained that. And he's got a good average rating. Uh, 7.6 is pretty decent, to be honest. So you can expect to see Foden always scoring, always assisting. A bit of both. Some seasons he scores more goals than assists. Some season more assists than goals. Some about the same at the top lot here. But we can see consistently, you can see how he grows. His average rating goes up and up and up every year, practically. His goals and assists go up. He's just unbelievable, to be honest. Overall, 425 games, 97 goals, 99 assists. So you are talking, he has a goal contribution every other game. So we look at his biography here, and it does give us a bit of information of what he has won. We can see here he's made 122 appearances for England, scoring 30 goals. He's done really well there. And then we can have a look at what he's won here. So he's had the Premier League trophy in 2022 and 2023. The European International League, which I believe is the Nations League in 2021. The FA Cup in 2021 and 2028. And the Carabao Cup four times in a row. That was obviously before with City. This gives us a better idea of how it went. So he had the Carabao Cup in 2020, Carabao Cup winners again, first international cap in the game here, FA Cup and Community Shield winners and the Nations League winners all in 2021, 2022 Premier League, 2023 Premier League again and 2028. FA Cup winners, not as many titles as I thought. I thought maybe he'd have a Champions League in there. Maybe he'd have a lot more Premier Leagues in there. Probably would be in real life. I would assume he'd win a lot more than that, especially how City have been and how consistently they are getting trophies at the minute. So I wouldn't take too much notice of that. But it does predict he'll win further Premier Leagues, further Cups, and he will be successful. So that is Phil Foden. If you're a football manager fan, there's a good representation of what you can expect to see if he's in your city save or if you sign him up. Obviously, he's a hard player to get, but maybe if you get him on a free, if you get him when he's only got one year on his contract, that could be a viable option. Or if you go to City at some point in your career and he's there, he is fantastic. I would expect him to be at City's whole career as well on the game. So... You are going to have to buy him if you want him. His stats will go up. He has elite, elite stats in 10 years. And he will develop nicely. And he also starts with really good stats. So he's good to play straight off the bat. Get him in your team if you can sign him on the cheap. Or if you end up at City, use him. He's fantastic. If you're just a football or City fan, then you can expect a lot from Phil Foden. Football Manager does use a lot of data and they predict he's going to be really good. And you can just see if your eye is watching him how good he's going to be. He could be the future of England. He's the future of City. I think he will become a Man City legend in the future. I do expect him to get these sort of 10, nearly 20 goals, assists a season. And maybe in the future, he could be replicating these sort of Bruno De Bruyne numbers you see where they're getting 20 to 30 goals and assists a season. I think everyone likes him, he's a good player and I wish the best for him. So I hope you enjoyed the video today guys. Please leave a like and subscribe down below. And let me know if you want me to do this for any other young players to see how they develop in the future. So that is all from me. Thank you for watching I'll see you all next time.